Hello everybody, it's me, Heather, and I'm here with a high-end haul. These are actually some items that I recently picked up. Um, I'm going to start with some items from MAC that I actually got in December. They're like, I think like two days after Christmas, something like that. And these are items from the Punk Couture collection. This is still available um, in MAC stores and online at maccosmetics.com. And this is just a really fun collection. I didn't get every single item from the collection. There's actually a follow me around vlog video that I did of me trying to track these down in store and I'm not sure how enjoyable it is to watch that video. I think that video is mostly me just being annoyed and complaining and bad lighting, bad lighting and bad audio sounds. But at the same time it was kind of funny to me so I went ahead and uploaded it. Anyways, let me do, let me show you guys what I got from that. So, I got the three pigments. These are actually part of the permanent line. So you don't need to run out and go get these right now. You don't need to go buy them all at one time. These are pigments that MAC always had. They're re-promotes, as they say, as part of their Punk Couture line. But these are really cool, and I'm actually going to do a video using these pigments in a look. And, yeah, I didn't have any neon matte pigments like these. These are matte neon pigments. And this one is called Neo Orange. I'm sure you can tell why. This one is Magenta Madness, and this one is True Chacoose. So I love these right here. I had to have these the moment I heard about this collection. Really wanted these. They all do apply very sheerly, and they just look amazing on top of different lip colors, and they pair very well with the lipsticks that I got from this collection, which I'll show you in a moment. These are all cream sheen glasses from MAC. This one is No Apologies, and it has a purple slide to it. So any of those dark, plummy, purple lipsticks that we've all been hauling, and, you know, you just want to kick it up and notch the purple, like, sheen, the purple glitter in this, really just kicks it up a notch. Love this. This one is surprisingly really cool, too. It's kind of yellow, kind of green. I've used, actually, a lot of this. You probably can't see right there, but it's already, like, empty, <laughs> like, on the side here. This one's called Jet Boy. Really like this one. Again, this one looks great on top of any kind of like warm undertone lipstick. So if you have like a brown lipstick or any kind of lipstick that just leans warmer, this surprisingly looks really cool on top of it. And then of course this one's black, but it goes on super sheer, super clear. And of course this is going to look great on top of any of your ultra black lipsticks or lipsticks that are so dark they almost look black. And this just gives it that extra edge of shine. Love it. And this one's called Dark Outsider. Okay, now the lipsticks. This one, the name of the collection, Punk Couture. It's a really awesome purple one. Really cool. Love this. Had to have it. Got it. And it is matte. I'm a big fan of matte lipsticks, even though I'm not wearing matte right now. This one's Studded Kiss. And this one I haven't even worn yet. Yikes. I'm going to get on it. I'm going to wear it. <laughs> but this, like I said, would look great, for example, with this one. This one is like a red that leans warmer. It has definitely like a brown undertone to it. Really pretty. It's called Studded Kiss. And this would look great with Jet Boy on top of it, for example. Or just by itself if you just want a matte red lipstick. Sorry, my voice is still a little froggy. This one's Instigator. I love this one. Again, this one's a really deep purple. It's like a close cousin of black lipstick. It's just, it's not quite black, but it's definitely got that purple in there. Love it. Instigator. And then Hoot Core. This is your matte black lipstick from MAC. And I love wearing this one occasionally. I'll try to rock a look in a video soon wearing this. But any kind of like super ultra dark, bold lips like these, if you're kind of afraid of it, usually the best way to like, even it out is just wear neutral, a neutral eye look. Either super minimalist, just like a winged liner with mascara, or winged liner and lashes, and then lips, let lips be the focus. Or, you know, any of your neutral eyeshadows that are so popular right now. There's so many neutral eyeshadow palettes out there that make it easy to pair colors together for like a neutral eye that make your eyes pop without overwhelming and taking away attention from your mouth or just balancing out with a really dark mouth like this. But Hope Core, love this one. All right, so that was what I got from the Punk Couture collection. This one I got the day of release. I ordered it online, and that arrived 
pretty quick one. I think got here in three days. And this is the Mac, whoops, and Rihanna collaboration, the Viva Glam. I am wearing both of these on my lips right now. I'm not going to swatch them, obviously, because it's a Viva Glam collection. It's going to be around for a while. And it's, I'm sure you've seen swatches, you've seen people reviewing it. So, but if you love red lipstick, this one you want to add to your collection. I do actually really like the packaging. It has that rubberized texture. Like here it just looks metallic because of the light bouncing off of it, but it's got like a rubberized texture. And this is the red lipstick. It's really pretty. It says it's a frost, but it actually to me it looks more of like a shimmer because I'm not a fan of frosty lipsticks. I usually don't buy frosty lipsticks for myself. I usually find they make me look older. They age me somehow. It's really weird to say that like wearing a lipstick makes you look older, but it it does. So when I first heard that the um, MAC Viva Glam Rihanna was going to be a frost one, I was like, oh, I might pass on that then. But actually, it's really nice. It It doesn't have the usual like super, super, super pink frost or the super, super white frost in it. It looks more just like a shimmery lipstick. And like I said, when you pair it with the um, is it a lip glass? Sorry, lip glass. When you pair it with the lip glass, these two just look the bomb.com. So here is the lip glass. And again, this doesn't read as well on camera, but it is super sparkly. Like I heard one beauty blogger describe it as Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz, her ruby red slippers. This is what it looks like. It is just super, super, super shiny and super, super glittery, but it's really finely milled. And Wearing these two together on your lips is just an amazing combination. They just look hot together. I think this is perfect. Just in time for Valentine's Day. It's really hot. Love it. Okay. So that's all I've got from MAC. And for some reason, I cannot get this back in the box. That is really weird. <laughs> okay, I'll struggle with that later. Oh, because I'm putting it in the lipstick box. Welcome to my world. Okay, that's why that was not working. All right, Urban Decay released a couple of new things. So let's jump right into that. All right, I did pick up one of the Naked Lip Glosses. Honestly, it's probably the only one I'm going to pick up for myself, although I do love it, simply because it is, if you've seen any of the swatches online and people have done a lot of comparisons, although... In the tube, which is gorgeous, by the way, isn't that great? In the tube, and I love at the bottom how you can see the color, they all look like they're very, very different shades. They all apply so sheerly that it's kind of like, I really don't need 20 to spend $20 on six different shades of lip gloss that all look the same on heavily pigmented lips. So, But that being said, it is an amazing lip gloss. It's very... Thick without being sticky, super shiny. It does feel moisturizing, and it is called the Ultra Nourishing Lip Gloss. And this one's in the shade Naked, and I'll even go ahead and swatch that for you. So you can see Naked, uh, <laughs> and that's the perfect name for it. Awesome, awesome, awesome lip gloss. Love that. Glad I got it. I went ahead and picked up a new shade of the Beauty Balm. I went ahead and got this one in Naked Dark. And I'm in that category where I could wear either Naked Medium, which is the original one. It used to just be called the Beauty Balm. Now it's called Naked Medium. Now there are three shades. And this one's Naked Dark. So I can actually wear either of those. And I'll go ahead and just squeeze that out. I went ahead and got the Naked Dark one because I like the Naked Medium one on me. And it works nicely under other foundations. But whenever I wear Naked Medium underneath my shade of Urban Decay's foundation, which is number seven, if you're curious, it makes my foundation look way too light. So I decided to get this one because even though it's so sheer, like you probably can't even really see where I put it now. Even though it applies so sheerly, it's enough to just keep the foundation shade on point for my skin tone instead of lightening it up like Naked Medium does. So the winning combination for me is Naked Dark with the Naked 
in foundation 7.0. So that's my winning combination. I'm not wearing that right now. I'm testing out a lot of drugstore stuff right now. Except for my lips. I got my Mac on. Anyways, moving on. This I'm in love with, and I'm thinking I might just go ahead and get them all and add them to my professional kit. I like this that much. The Ultra Definition Loose Finishing Powder. I just, I really love the packaging on these. Very gorgeous. I went ahead and picked up one in, again, Naked Medium. I could go either way. I could do make Naked Medium or Naked um, Medium Dark. I actually went ahead and just got Naked Medium. And just put it like that so you can see it. But again, this applies so sheerly. I'm going to just stick my finger. This is my personal one, so I'm just going to stick my finger right in here. I'm try to pick up a little for you. And we'll put it right on top of the BB cream. <laughs> so you can see this just it's just, it's lightweight, it's breathable, it's the kind that you put it on your skin, you can't put too much on. There is a hint of color, but it's mostly translucent. Love it. So if you're looking for a nice high-end powder, definitely pick up one of these naked ones. They're really nice. Okay, then I have two eyeshadow palettes to show you. And this one, I've swatched it, but I haven't worn it yet. And so I'm going to post swatches on my blog, on my Instagram of this one. I've not used it yet, but this is the Naturally Pretty Volume 1 Matte Lux Transforming Eyeshadow Palette from IT Cosmetics. This is my first purchase of anything from IT Cosmetics. I actually got this off of Ulta.com using my 20% off friends and family that they had recently. One of those ones where you could actually use 20% on the high-end items. And if you've not seen this one, here it is. I love the texture on this. It's kind of like a, what is that, a faux leather, a faux soft leather. It does have a magnetized little clip here, which is nice. And just pop that open. Still got the sleeve on there. But like I said, this is, might be a little dirty. I have swatched it. And that's your mirror. Let me pull that back so I don't blind you guys anymore. But all of these eyeshadows are matte. And let me just tell you first impression just from swatching these. These are some of the creamiest textured eyeshadows I have ever swatched. Like just literally, it just, it almost feels like cream eyeshadows. Excellent color payoff when I was swatching these. And then we also have like the transforming pearl. So that's just again one of those type of shades that you can use to make these matte shadows look a little bit more iridescent or a little bit more shimmery. So you could just like put it on top or you could put it on bottom all over your lid as a base and put your shadows on top and have a shimmery look. Or you could just do your look and then place this strategically if there's any of them you want to shimmer up or you could just not use it at all. But yeah, really looking forward to doing this. I will film a tutorial, some kind of look with this. But yeah, aren't these shades hot? Mostly neutral, but I love how it has a nice mix of kind of like ultra neutrals warm neutrals, and then even cool neutrals. So just a great, great, great introduction to this brand. I'm really looking forward to trying all of these out. And then this one, okay, I have not really played with this one much yet. I've done a little bit of swatching. Like I said, I'll post swatches on my blog and on my Instagram. Um, the NARS Narcissist Palette, yes, this palette is $79. Yes, I did pay $79. But the way I justify that is I have absolutely no NARS eyeshadow. And now I have 15 shades of NARS eyeshadow. So this one's going to be dirty as well because I've been playing with it a little. And I have swatched it. But you open it up. That's your mirror. Sorry, trying not to blind you guys. Trying not to show you too much of my messy apartment. But there we go, we'll do it that way. Woo! Let's do it. There we go. <laughs> so I don't blind you guys. So like I said, and it's got a mixture of mattes and shimmers, 15 colors. These are all permanent shades. There's only one that's actually a limited edition. I believe it's this one. I think it's this one. I think it's called Bad Behavior. I think it's that one. I could be wrong. But it's one of the shades from the Guy Bourdain or Guy Borden collection that's almost finished being self sold. But everything else is from the permanent line. So if you have a lot of uh, mono eyeshadows from NARS or if you have a lot of duos from NARS. Sorry, guys. I am still having trouble speaking. I'm getting over an illness and I've not been sleeping well. So if I'm really stuttery and 
my thoughts seem disconnected. <laughs> you know why. Now you know why. There it's out there. But I'm feeling better, but I'm still on antibiotics, and I'm still not sleeping a lot, so I'm getting there. Anyways, if you have a lot of NARS eyeshadow in your personal collection, you'll probably obviously want to pass on this. I used to have some NARS single eyeshadows like 10 years ago, literally like 2000. Yeah, what are we? Yeah, 2004, 2005, 2006. Around that time, I used to have a lot of individual, not a lot, a few individual eyeshadows from NARS. And those have since been thrown away or gone missing or whatever. And I have absolutely no NARS eyeshadow now. So this, when this came out, I was like, okay, I've been wanting a lot of stuff from NARS. I have nothing from NARS. So I went ahead and treated myself to this palette. And there's a lot of mixed reviews about it. Like I said, I've not really tried it out too much. I've swatched it. I did a little bit of a look one day. So I'm going to play with it some more, and then I'm going to film a tutorial with this palette doing some kind of look, and we'll just see if it's worth $79. I hope it is, because that's what I paid. <laughs> okay, guys, so that was my haul of some higher-end stuff. I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions about any of the products, feel free to post your questions down below. I will get back to you. I love it when you guys interact with me. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Pinterest. I'm really active on Instagram. I love Instagram. I'm on there almost every day. I like to comment, like photos, post photos, etc. Um, I do a lot of stuff that I want to do swatches for. I usually do swatches on my Instagram. And now that I'm doing my blog again, I'll also post them on my blog as well, since I don't really like to swatch during videos because I kind of suck at it. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.